I already cleaned up the headlamps of a number of my vehicles. These headlights are now very clear, although I have yet to finish this headlight on this Lexus. I've already done this side. You can see it's very clear, although this side has some yellowing and haziness. We're gonna remove this yellowing and haziness and then apply a protective coating to prevent this from ever happening again. Follow along if you'd like to see how this is done. Some kits will remove the fogginess and haziness from your headlights, all those improvements will be short-lived. The fogginess and haziness often comes back within six to 18 months later. This technique though will be permanent. Step one is to wet sand. I'm gonna use three grits of sandpaper. This is P400 followed by P600 and finally finishing off with P1200. Notice that this is P600 and P1200. This is the metric version of sandpaper grits, not to be confused with the Imperial, which does not have the letter P. So let's get our water bottle here. We're gonna soak this headlamp with some water. And we're gonna to get to then sanding with our P400. I'm gonna go in a horizontal motion. You might do small swirls as well. I know that the horizontal motion works, so I'm not gonna do anything else. You'll see at this point some yellow haze already coming off. This is exactly what needs to happen. I'll spend a few minutes, maybe even five minutes, sanding this surface before we move on to our next grit. Following sanding with the P400 grit, the headlamp no longer looks yellow, although it is very scratched and foggy right now. I'm gonna follow up now with the P600. Again, wetting and sanding with horizontal motions. Fold your sandpaper up to a nice point to get easily into the sharp corners without sanding the metal car body. I'll sand with this grit sandpaper just a few minutes. With the headlamp still wet, we'll continue with the P1200 grit. Don't worry if you're still seeing scratches even after sanding with the P1200, this is expected. Also, you could remove the headlamp entirely from the vehicle to do this process, but I'm interested in getting this done quickly, so I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just being careful not to sand the metal body of the vehicle. I'll sand with the P1200 grit for only a few minutes still using horizontal motions. With sanding with the P1200 grit complete, we're gonna fully wash off our lens here. Use a clean, lint-free rag to dry off this headlamp. It does look very foggy and very scratched, but it's at least no longer yellowed. Don't worry about the scratches. The next step, using the clear coat, is gonna Fill in those scratches and make this headlamp perfectly clear. Ideally during this step, you'd also use some isopropyl alcohol applied to the headlamp. This would promote cleaning and fast drying of the headlamp. I don't have that handy, but I haven't used it for the other headlamps either. While we give the headlamp some additional time to air dry, let's apply some painter's tape to the vehicle. We're going to use this to protect the metal of the vehicle during the next step. I also taped some plastic bag around the perimeter of the headlamp to protect the auto body from the clear coat spray. And now I'm preparing to apply this clear coat spray. You can buy a number of different versions. This one is 2K clear coat, which is known to be very dangerous. You don't want to inhale this or potentially even get it on your skin. As a result, use gloves and protective equipment, especially filters that can handle vapors and an eye mask. Be sure to read and follow the directions of your particular clear coat. 
this can required me to shake it for a few minutes and now I'm going to spray this headlamp. I'm going to do one, two, three passes, each pass slightly overlapping the prior pass. Smooth, gentle motions. You don't want to lay it on thick. We're going to do two coats according to this clear coat. The headlamp after that first clear coat has dried is already looking far better. Per the directions on this clear coat, we're gonna apply one more coat and then we'll be done. With two coats of clear coat sprayed 10 minutes from one another, the headlamp now looks very good. You might consider a third coat sprayed to yours, but as is, this should prevent any kind of hazing on the headlamp for many years to come. I hope this helps you with your project.